how to remove scorpion saver so basically what this does is it will in install extensions in registry files and all types of files on your computer so if you're browsing the web to buy a product somewhere it will bring up these advertisements like this right here and if you click those it will take you to some other site and in the end somebody is gaining web traffic and someone is gaining revenue so with the first step to remove the scorpion saver is to remove the extensions from the web browsers so you want to go to tools and you want to go to add-ons and here's the scorpion saver add-on and you want to click remove alright so it's been removed from the Firefox one now what you want to do if, if it's you got it on Chrome you want to double check and make sure you don't got the installed on Chrome extension so you want to come over here and you want to click this you want to go to tools and extensions and as you see they put an extension on Chrome too so you just want to click this little remove from Chrome thing that trash can looking thing icon and then click remove so now you want to go to Internet Explorer you want to go to tools and you want to go to manage add-ons now on here I do not see scorpion saver so but you might have it on yours so just double check to make sure that you have removed all those extensions alright so the next step is we're going to uninstall it so you want to pull up your control panel you want to go to scorpion saver you want to uninstall it so this will get uninstall the advertisements that you've been getting when you're browsing the web alright so next thing we want to do is we want to double check and make sure that the installer is has been removed from the computer so what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to C and you're gonna go to temp and what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete these two installation files so you wanna delete scorpion saver delete and you wanna delete the install server 64 this is basically how it keeps getting installed they keep going back to their temp and then they're gonna reinstall it okay so furthermore you wanna run malwarebytes anti-malware so go ahead and pull up malwarebytes anti-malware if you haven't already downloaded it uh, I have the link to that in the description you wanna go to update you wanna check for updates okay this is critical part check for updates every time you use malwarebytes they're always updating their definition files so after you checked for updates and you downloaded the recent updates or most up-to-date uh, definition files go to scanner make sure it's on perform quick scan and click scan now note that this is a quick scan but it can take some time determining on how many files that you have so I'm gonna let this scan and I'll be back okay so once the scan is completed it'll say the scan completed successfully click show results to display all detected objects click OK what you want to do is you want to click show results and now it would, anything that says scro scorpion saver on here you want to put a check mark next to it and you want to click remove selected and now once you have done this click remove selected it will say it's urgent that you need to reboot restart your computer so go ahead and restart your computer now once you have restarted and rebooted up your computer you want to go back and double check to make sure that the scorpion saver was removed and it's not in your programs your programs and features list where you uninstall it at previously hope this has helped you out thank you for watching See you in the next video.